人之间联系的一个桥流来的。那我们慢慢喜欢，大家有没有发现？我们慢慢喜欢呢，在网上去表达自己。最近呢，很多以前我们在呃全世界用的是 YouTube， 那国内现在也有其他的啊、呃、工具，好像抖音啊这样的。那里边也有很多很丰富的内容的，那比方说，看看这个图，他这个呢是一个叫板亮大叔，其实这个大叔他只不过是在一个农村里边，他用自己喜欢唱歌的话，他就用抖音的话把自己唱的歌发出去，没想到呢，他把自己新喜欢的东西跟外面分享的话，回来的结果会很好，大家都很喜欢。用这个办法去听他唱歌，不单是这样，大家有没有想到，他这样唱歌的话，可以带给他没想到的好处。这个是什么呢？这个是可以看看的，他一天能赚十万块钱。那没想到的话，我们本来本来我们是面对面开会，我们遇到困难，我们没有办法。面对面开会，其实我们遇到这个困难，我们把这个困难转一转，想一想其他的办法，其他的办法它会有开头会难，但是我们克服了以后，我们会想到一些新的东西，而且这个新的东西会很有可能带给我们好处的。所以今天我们遇到很多很多的困难，我们遇到危机，挺多的危机，但是请大家记住这句话。有危才有机，遇到困难，我们需要变通，变通了以后，新的机会就会来了，新的机会来，我们以后的情况就会更好了。我跟大家分享的就到这里，谢谢大家。谢谢陈宇，接下来是一分钟的静默时间。接下来，下一位参赛者曾婉妮，她的比赛。曾婉妮，你好，可以请你打开你的那个 camera 吗？好，你可以看得到 timer 吗？可以的。接下来的参赛者是曾婉妮，她的比赛题目是感恩。孙婉妮，感恩，感恩，孙婉妮。主持人好，我最以前看过一本书，是感谢折磨你的人。大家可能会想，哎，你买这本书的时候，是不是想找一个出口，看看是呃有什么解压的地方？是的，我最初就是想看看有什么解压的地方，但是后来我还觉得。应该要感恩。小时候，我是一个依赖性很强的人。我的舅舅对我说：“你什么事都要带上你的妈妈，你不会带你的妈妈想睡吧？”哎，我觉得我的舅舅真的是太凶了。不过，我的妈妈她听了这个话之后，她就觉得应该是时候放手，让我去学习成长了。那个时候，我是八岁，读三年级。是的，十八岁，因为我六岁就读一年级，我带着我的妹妹，读一年级的妹妹要到呃
区外的小区，这个学校去上学，还有我还有几个同学的，他我妹妹的同学，他妈妈也要教他们的小孩给我，带他们去上学，对我来讲是压力真的是非常的大的，因为是五个人，我们要搭公交车半个小时，每天我要安全的把他们从家里送到学校。也要从学校送到家里。不过我真的很感谢我的舅舅，他让我的妈妈放手，让我去成长。我要感谢那个教小孩给我的家长，因为他们对我的信任。还有的就是那几个小孩，他他们的合作让我顺利的完成我的任务。其实这个都不是最难的，最难的我觉得就是与人相处吧。不过我觉得上帝就是你在什么地方欠缺的，他就要训练你，他就要考验你。我经常会遇到的就是那些对我很严格的要求，要求很高的，还有就是非常难缠的人。但是经过跟他们一段时间的相处之后，我发觉。我从他们的身上，我学到了很多。有我有一次，我刚刚升级做分行的经理的时候，我遇到一个客户，因为是发现他有两期的贷款，呃，没有还，我就很紧张。我每天差不多改生差五的，我就打电话跟他联系，希望他快点把这个呃贷款给完了。但是我遇到。两个问题：第一，他是外国人；第二，就是他是一个非常难缠的人。我要想尽办法让他，呃，知道他的责任是要还款。经过差不多一个多月的时间，我发现一，我的英语会话进步了；二，我的反应也快了。所以接下来我的升级考试也顺利的通过了。我的真的是很感谢那个，呃，训练我的人。好了，考试升职之后，我要分配到一个分行去。那个分行的经理，我要跟他学习，他是一个前辈。但是我戳到他的分行的时候，头三天他都不理我，不跟我说一句话，就是让我在他的前面坐下做我的工作。到了第四天，他就说：“嗯，我观察你你三天了，我觉得你的工作态度是不错的，所以我现在开始要教你做人做事的道理了。”其实他虽然他的外表是很凶，但是其实他的内心是很柔软的。我在他的身上学了不少面对疫情的方法。所以，我真的是很感恩，让我遇到这样子的一个前辈。最近，我有机会在成人班里边，呃，去和我的学生分享，怎么让自己能够变得更有正能量。其中一个就是意义万宽法，就是事情是没有变化的。事情是其实都是同样的一件事情，但是意义我们赋予它的意义改变了，怎样事情的结果就会不同了，因为我们的心会变得很舒服。我最经常跟他们一起去分享的一个题目就是，我的老板经常。针对我，我很开心，因为他们我要求他们就是给我十个理由，为什么你会这样子？跟着他们就脑洞大开的想了很多的理由出来，呃，就是我的老板很看得起我啊，他觉得我很有潜质啊，他觉得他是重点栽培我等等等等的。所以我其实自己也很开心，我有这样的一个机会，就是，呃，跟我的学生去分享这些
改变他们，这时也重新提醒我，有很多事情都不是我们可以控制的，百分之九十的事情都是我们控制不来的。我们可以做的就是百分之十，好像现在的疫情。就是我们全部人都控制不了的，但是我们可以做的就是想方设法的做好自己。好像我们最近做的网上会议，还有今天的网上比赛等等，所以我真的是很开心，我有今天的这个机会在这里参加比赛，嗯。我也很感谢今天所有的工作人员为这个呃比赛让它顺利的完成，谢谢大家。谢谢曾婉妮，接下来是一分钟的节目时间。好，接下来请下一位参赛者罗淑贤打开他的镜头，还有，哎，你可以看得到计时员吗？等一下，我要看弄大声一点，听得到？听得到？你能够看得到计时员吗？听得到。呃，计时员，你看得到吗？你能看得到计时员吗？可以啊。好的。好，接下来是下一个参赛者是罗淑贤，他的演讲题目是“垃圾”。罗淑贤，垃圾，垃圾，罗淑贤。各位评判及主持们，大家好。我今天谈的主题就是垃圾，好像这个垃圾桶里面有好多的垃圾吧？每一天你知不知道香港有多少的垃圾呀、啊？垃圾多的要香港要买堆填区，香港每天产生的废物你知道有多少啊？垃圾有九千吨，哇！我们香港人口，如果每人都有九千吨那么多的，大，你想一想，每个人会不会，我们本来自己就已经是一个垃圾了？哇，可能你就说，哎，罗淑贤，你是不是太过负面呐、啊？我们哪里是垃圾呀、啊？我们。今天是头马的参赛者，有那么出师的一种的感受。为什么你说我们是一个垃圾呢？但是我要跟你分享一个秘密，是我小的时候那一个故事。我很小的时候，大概十多岁吧，是中学的时候。哇，那个时候，你是垃圾。你是垃圾，哪两个同学哪一边都是垃圾？哈，我们的同学都是垃圾。
哪个就是林老师啊？林老师是我中学的中文老师，他常常都是跟我们说：“你就是废物，你也是没有用的。”啊，那个时候我没有信心，哪里想象到现在我可以来到台上跟大家公开演讲呢？对吗？所以那个时候啦，你知道我就是这个非常黑的环境，讲大永远都没有给老师给我一点一点的鼓励的说话。我记得在小的时候啦，老师给我的印象就是怎么样的？有两类的老师，第一类的老师是怎么样呢？第一类的老师呢，就是好像。妈妈爱小朋友，妈妈爱他的儿子的那个样子，就是从来都是非常的细心啊，关怀他们呐、啊，永远都会问他：“你的成绩不好，我可不可以帮你啊？”哪一种是第一种？第二种呢？我觉得我给你一个啊态度了，他好像每次冲来我们的办法的时候了。这好像一个老虎的样子，就好像想吃我们那个样子，哇！每一个学生都好怕的样子。林老师就是那么凶呢，他永远都是那么凶，觉得我们没有价值的，你知道吗？这个对我的影响是，现在已经长大了。我有很多朋友结婚呐、啊，有小朋友了，每一次小我的朋友啦。跟他的小朋友讲一句话了，我的马上觉得好像是不是跟我谈到我的童年呢？就是当他们骂他的孩子的时候了，他马上就会给我一个感觉，就是他又觉得他没有用，他真的好像废物一样，好像垃圾一样。我那个时候的影响非常的大。你知道吗？五年前，因为面书的原因，所以呢，我跟我很多的老同学啊、老师啊，很很多年前的老师一起，很多的联系，一起走走走在一起。那个时候呢，我的林老师都加我做朋友啊，他常常看我的面书啊。我相信，有一天他打一个发我一个短信，他就说：“哎，苏贤。”你知道吗？我们的母校有一个白昼年的晚宴呢、啊，我想邀请你啊，做我们的司仪啊。哇，你有没有搞错啊？我是罗素贤呐、啊，不是其他的名字啊。他有没有打错、啊？我给他的印象是废物。垃圾有没有可能？他可以给我一个机会做司仪了，你知道吗？他跟我之后解释，他说：“我常常看到你很多的成就啊，在头马里面，好像有很多的领受啊，好多讲话的机会。我觉得你好棒啊！我真的想，好棒还是好胖呢？我真的不明白哦、啊。但是我就。”去做哪一次的事宜？我们的关系现在蛮好啊。我还已经不记得他哪个时候，很多年前，他常常谈到哪个废物，这个同学，这个同学是废物的情情况。所以我觉得，如果现在我们不需要标签什么人，如果我们真的开始的时候谈到香港啊，哪个时候那么多的废物？是想想，哪个时候叫废物？现在就是叫废废庆吧。我想我都是可能哪个时候给老师说的哪一种的废庆，对吗？所以我，我如果我们多一点的察觉，多一点的留意我们的行为，多一点留意我们讲的话，你可以给很多机会给很多的年轻人。我想，他们一定可以来到。头马跟我一样有很大的改变，给别人有另外一种的感觉。那么，我们是不是想了很多九千吨的废物在香港？我们也不需要什么废田去了，对吗？那么，香港是不是小一点的废物
多一点的人才。我想，我现在的贡献就是希望大家今天开始留意自己讲的，还有做的，都不要令我们的小朋友跟朋友们有一种失去信心的感觉。所以，我们要改变香港，就从我们开始了。谢谢大家，谢谢罗淑贤。接下来是一分钟的静默时间。好的，好，下一位的参赛者是徐佳玉。徐佳玉，你好，你能看到计时员吗？我看到，看到，谢谢。接下来的参赛者是徐佳玉，他的演讲题目是“养生之道”。徐佳玉，养生之道，养生之道，徐佳玉。有一天。我回长道公司上班，又是一个繁忙的一天。我老板是一位很心急的人。有一天，他给我一份差事，我无偿的很快把工作完成。但是他今天他生气了，比较于你可不可以做用心一点啊？不用急，慢慢来。所以我就用很慢的速度给他完成，但是我下星期六回去上班，还能完成了手上的工作。我记得我小时候在家人里面是最慢的一个。我记得我在读幼儿园的时候，我总是不能把早点吃完。总是又去早点，又跑到去校车站里面去坐校车放学。但是我家人的速度十分之快，也是很心急的人。我妈妈弄餐的速度十分之快，只需要两个小时就弄弄成一个很丰富、很美味的晚餐。我哥哥也是。我父亲也是很心急的人，总是每天都几点吹出水，做些做哪些，做这些，所以弄得整个家里的人的工作效率十分之高。可能是我又有成腾讯、腾讯之故，特别是我开始工作之后，我发现我自己的做的落实速度越来越快。但是你可能会说，香港是一个工作速度很高的城市。但是我自己快的，别人都都觉得觉得我过快，而自己不知知，就会发生了三个问题。第一，就是我发现整个团队的人都十分紧张。这好像我父亲把家里的气氛都弄得十分紧张一样。这在我做小公司里面的我来说，在文化上好像不太适合。他们对我的工作速度太快，十分不满。第二呢，就是我自己也十分紧张，经常睡得不好。所以我也需要，呃，喝点茶，喝点咖啡，每天都需要，那么提神，这会造成恶性循环
第三呢，就是弄到自己表现不好，弄了自己整天心神很乱，是是自己没有没有弄清楚了，就麻木去做，以及影响表现。其实我发现我身边的朋友，他们的速度没有我这么高，但是从他们总是能够气定神闲的，心态上总是游刃自得的，遇到大事的时候总是处变不惊。我真的很羡慕他们有这样的心理指数。有一天我看到电视节目，访问一位老人。他们动作十分慢，但是神态很虚弱。但是到九十岁也不用吃药，身体十分健康，不其他人十分长寿。有一天我也看到，呃，在公园里面看一班老人家在玩太极，他们的动作也是十分之。慢，但是动作十分准确。我真的很羡慕他们这种中直不中速度那种态度。嗯，怎么态度？就是刚开巴士看到一个广告。就劝每个司机要安全驾驶，不要太快驾驶，因为安全驾驶才会长久驾驶。太快的驾驶会容易发生意外，所以我开始要改变自己的心态，要重直不重速度，除了希望自己能够长寿之外。而且也能够是自己改善以上三个缺点，使自己心情能够平复一些，表现好一点点，还要睡得好一点。女士们、先生们，人生很为遇到很多大事小事，为了很多大低起伏。如果我们，拥有平常心去面对的话，那么我们的心情就能平复，就会嗯遇到很多事情都能处置他人的。所以在适当的时候用适当的心态去面对是十分重要的。无论任何时候，不用急，慢慢来是非常的非常重要的。所以希望大家能够改变自己的心态，以安成养生之道。谢谢各位。谢谢许佳玉。接下来是一分钟的静默时间。好，接下来是下一位参赛者，第五位的参赛者是刘建明。刘建明，请打开你的视频。刘建明，你好，你能看得到计时员吗？可以，谢谢。接下来是第五位的参赛者。
刘建明，他的题目是“怒法冲冠油烟醋”。刘建明，怒法冲冠油烟醋，怒法冲冠油烟醋，刘建明。怒发冲冠游烟处，场侯宫壁泪门眼。每当我下班回到家，开门，一眼看见的就是太太，她在厨房里奋力作战。这一刻，我知道我的心情应该是快乐的，面部的肌肉应该是宽容的，但是那个屁孩子。就是大吵大闹的，玩具遍满传递，沙发弄得七零八下。这个时候，我更应该知道，说：“乖宝宝，爸爸回来了，给爸爸来一个抱，给爸爸玩一下。”但是，我也不知道我说了什么错话。厨房里传来了一阵昂天长啸，战怀激烈啊！我被骂了，他怪个屁！今天又淘气，又不吃饭，又掉东西，你回到家又不收拾，就是这样。我的三十又三十分钟赶回家的。尘与土，八千里路的运河也都成了白了，空杯茄。吃饭的时候，我俩默默无语，但那个屁孩子还是找妈妈的忙。我偷眼的看他，一脸的倦容。我被骂的迟。有没学？我真的要学词吗？我在偷眼看他照顾宝宝，一脸的尽心尽力。我的恨，我可以恨吗？我尝试打破这个沉默，为这种气氛找个缺口。桌上的每一道菜。都是一些家常菜，有些有几个青筋海鱼、杂菜肉丝，又几个机器旁，再来一个老果汤。说实话，我太太的手艺是可以宴客的，所以在这个米系当前，我是米饭、鸡餐、红烧肉。既饭可饮，真味汤。他见我吃的这么急，也不理我。我就说：“太太煮的菜真好吃。”他说：“不是煮给你吃的。”我就说：“那煮给谁吃的？”他说：“煮给有良心的人吃。你没良心，不要吃。”我就说，对呀、啊，也有良心的，也也有良心的人吃。我的良心也除了晚餐的太太，所以我可以吃。他说不要脸。我说我的脸可以换每一晚餐，值得我换。然后他咧嘴一笑，对孩子说：“吃饭。”吃完晚餐，我就收拾桌子，清理洗碗。明天又在工作，晚上回家吃饭。各位，我和太太结婚三年多，有一位孩子。我和太太结婚之初，有很多地方要适应过来。我做事东拉西扯，他做事显言有序。有一点。
大家都相同的就是，吵的时候大家都互不相让，不是李生就是我，好像成了陌路人一样。后来孩子出生了，我人生第一次感动的流泪。我看这太太的的痛苦，满头的汗水。然后孩子哇哇的落地，从前是一加一两个人，现在是一加一三个人。护士问我要不要三个人一起拍照，这个当然要。我感谢我太太每天用心照顾孩子，使我可以放心的工作。我感谢太太对我虽然。有怨言，但还是接力我的补助。我感谢太太对家庭的付出，那就是默默的付出，从不埋怨。最后，祝福大家家庭愉快。谢谢大家。谢谢刘建明。那我们现在比赛结束。那有请 s i l Master 把主裁判、裁判、计分员都移到裁判室。各裁判，请准备好你们的结果，交给计分员 Raymond 还有 Ella。然后计时员，请把你计时的时间用 WhatsApp 发给主裁判 c h i a o 我们是所有裁判都已经移走了吗？对，裁判已经移走了。Thank you, Aaron。然后在等待他们回来的时候，我们就来聊聊天吧。可以请各位把你们的视频打开吗？哎，大家今天都做的很好，辛苦了。我想提问一下各位，你们今天的那个比赛的讲题，大家都来自不同的元素嘛？那其实你们的灵感是来自哪里呢？我们能按顺序来吗？先从陈宇开始，好不好？我的灵感，我的灵感就是，嗯。这个图片的啊，现在看不见了。嗯、我的灵感就是刚才投投一张图片，那个是我，呃，上班的时间吃饭经过的时间拍的。嗯。然后刚好最近我觉得香港也我们大家都遇到很多困难，所以就想到了这方面的呃想法，所以慢慢就写出来跟大家分享一下我的想法。了解。那真婉妮对吧？真婉妮，你你的题材是感恩嘛？那你日常生活当中，你你最让你感觉到感恩的 moment 是什么？ OK OK <笑>。<笑>其实，因为就是我身体是比较弱的，所以每一天早上起床的话，如果我是身体健康的话，我就觉得很感恩。因为我试过，就是病了几天在床，起不了床，就是三天的时间，那个时候我真的觉得是人生真的太没趣了，每天就是在床上，头很晕。呃，没法起床，没法吃东西，没法跟人交流，所以现在能够健健康康的，呃，开开心心的过一天，真是不错的。了解，健康是最快乐的财富。所以，哎，如果说到健康的话，其实跟我们另外一位参赛者就是许家玉，他的那个养生之道也有。Well, it counts as 
let me know when you are happy with the results after your reconciliation. So, Ella and Raymond, just give me a nod. And we will return back to the, we will return back to the contest room. Okay, we are done. So, so I, I think we can see. I'll ask Aaron to take us back to the contest room. Bear with me.结果是有的吧 大家好。那今呃現在已經有結果了。我今天覺得很難得大家因為我這個贏是來做比賽。那要我先宣布的是第三名的吧。那第三名的他是來自九榮普通話會的陳宇。陳宇,恭喜你。也是九龙普通话会的 希望你們能夠籌兩會的參賽者會代表的去去在比賽。那我這邊就這樣囉,恭喜大家。好的,謝謝Iris,我們Vision O 真心来说大家都做得很好，谢谢你们。然后呃，奖杯还有奖状我们会在比赛之后一起发给大家。那现在呢，其实呃，普通话比赛已经结束，谢谢各位的到来。然后接下来呢，我们会准备成那个呃，
。OK， 我来吧。一二三 ，Smile。OK。OK， 可以了。好的，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢大家。那,那普通会员点比赛已经结束了，那呃各位也可以先离开了。如果有继续参加之后的英语演讲比赛的话，可以继续留下来哦。谢谢大家。好，咁 contestants 可以先离开啦。系咪会自己帮我哋离开噶？啊<笑>，你要自己揿嘅。啊，点样揿？你要你要你可以揿 leave 嘅。系你可以 leave 啦。右下角嗰度。O、okay, K，、okay. 我哋去翻。你睇下，咁啊，咁啊，大致都 O K 啊，做得好好啊。我哋依间都系类似咁样。O K， 跟住 international 得两个参加者啫。系啦，系啦，我嗰个。咁 Aaron，Aaron 可唔可以望下睇下嗰两个参加者到咗未啊？等住啊。好啊，好啊。我见到有两个，是 Celia 同埋阿。卡莉。玲玲，系卡莉，但但系佢哋冇改名。冇改名啊！啊，好啊，咁文文，你你可以过嗰边。我去拉佢哋入嚟先，先叫佢哋改名。好啊，好啊，都都得。Thank you。头先讲边个？边个叫我名？系点啊？我见到佢入嚟啊，但系佢哋冇揿，可能我我出去拉人先。Hello， 大家好。I do wait here. Can, can I close my camera? Yeah, you can close the camera. You can you can even log out if you want. 加油啊！哇！转名系咪啊 ？Correct the name。OK。I need to sit down. I don't want to stand all the time. <laughs> OK。But you need to at least let us see half your body, isn't it? But it's half already.、Mm. Am I OK? Am I OK? Yeah, OK. Yeah. Thank you. I、uh, I will adjust my camera a bit later. OK. <laughs> Uh, Charles, our timer. Hello. Can you yeah? Can you test your timer card? Uh, Emily, could you unmute my? Yeah, video? yeah I can hear you already. Oh, your video. Yeah. I request you to open already. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, can you test your timer card? Yeah. Okay, contestants, can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's great. Okay, Is it we have to pin the timer? Yep. I'm going to tell you now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to have our area O four international speech contest. So before we start, may I remind you on a few housekeeping rules. So first. Please remain on mute until it is your role to speak. If you are a contestant, you are recommended to turn off all the notifications to avoid disturbance. No photo taking or video shooting is allowed where contestant is speaking, except the official appointed photographer of the contest. Once the contest has begun, please do not leave the Zoom room during the contest. And if you really have to or leave by accident, you will need to wait at the Zoom meeting room when you relock it, and wait for the Zoom house, which is Aaron, to move you to the right room during the one minute of silence. For contestants who need urgent assistance, please contact the contest chair Irish Tam by phone or by WhatsApp. So you should have her contact when you are added into the contestants group. Okay, so you can feel free to raise your concern there as well. Protests, protests will be limited to judges and contestants. Our protests will be lodged with the chief judge Chi Ao and contest chair Irish Tam prior to the announcement of the winner and alternatives. All decisions of the judges are final. 
Okay, so now we move on to the timing rules. International speech timing of the speeches. So all speeches shall be from five to seven minutes. Contestants who speak less than four minutes and 30 seconds or more than seven minutes, 30 seconds will be disqualified. Timing will begin with the contestant's first definite verbal or non-verbal communication with the audience, which is us. Timing signals. A green signal will be, will be displayed at five minutes and will remain displayed for one minute. An amber signal will be displayed at six minutes and will remain displayed for one minute. A red signal will be displayed at seven minutes and remain on until the conclusion of the speech. Please note that no signal will be given for overtime period. And in the event of technical failure of the signal, a speaker is allowed with 30 seconds extra overtime before being disqualified. So now may I introduce you to with our timer Charles. Hi Charles. Can you all see Charles? Okay, so if you would like to pin the timer, you can double tap on the timer and you will be able to pin it on your screen. Okay, so it will be easier for you to see the timing signals. I will also double confirm with you too before your contest starts. Okay. So, every contestant will be introduced in the way of contestant's name, speech title, speech title, contestant's name. Upon being introduced, the contestant shall start his or her speech. There will be one minute of silence between contestants during where the judges will mark their ballots. So today we have two contestants. The speaking sequence has been drawn earlier and they will, be, they will be in contest as below. The first one is Cecilia Lee. Second one, Kali Lo. If you have no further question, the contest is about to begin. Contestants, are you ready? Are you ready, contestants? Oh, yes, yes. Timer, are you ready? Thank you. SAA, are you ready? I think he's ready. Okay. Chief Judge, are you ready? Yes. Yes, we're ready. I would like to announce the Area 04 International Speech Contest now begins. And the first contestant is Cecilia Lee. Her speech topic is my birthday gift. Cecilia Lee, my birthday gift. My birthday gift, Cecilia Lee. What do you expect on your birthday? Ladies, beautiful flowers. Men, a delicious meal. I don't expect all this on my birthday because I buy myself a beautiful bunch of flowers and a luxury breakfast in Four Seasons Hotel. The next thing is important. Selfie and post on Facebook. Wow, you can't imagine. Wow, I got a hundred nice and smiling faces. Finally, I break Agnes' record. So, before starting my meal, I go to wash my hands. Walking to the toilet, there is a man in front of me walking in my same direction. Looking at his back, mm, his body line is pretty good, but a bit short. But strange, the man's toilet is over there. How can he go straight? He's heading to a female's toilet. Is he drunk in the morning? Hey, guy, the man's toilet is over there. Yes, you are in the wrong direction. Man 
Miss Tollett, you are an idiot. You see, I am a woman. Oh my God. He, oh no, no, no. She got a man's haircut, man's body. Hey, Ben, why are you here? I have two accounts. Oh, that's one guy. Okay. 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 誒，你係你改名會好似即係 S A A main 同 S A waiting room。哦。跟住我就移嚟，唔係暫時唔需要住嘅，等陣我就移嚟過去佢。但，我今次輕鬆好多。你上次即係，尋日即係俾人打爆啦。我琴日我都負責救場，都救咗好多啦，冇咁啦。唔係夠唔夠長嘅問題，而係根本你係即係除得盡得滯咯。咁 according to 你個你個你你個 agenda 寫去到幾點？寫去到六點嘅啫。我知，但係個 agenda 係錯咗嘅。依、這個依、這個我我我睇漏咗，依、這個 agenda 係錯嘅。呢、這個已經係。係啦，已經係唔應該啦。即係我哋冇計到 judge 個時間啊嘛。咁咪即係就係、是、人哋點解話你咯？成班話嘅喎，如果好慘。咁佢哋講啲咩？佢哋都已經喺個 group 度講咗啦，冇嘅事。係，都見到啦，見到。但係都已經盡盡盡咗好多力去去，唉，修補一啲，我忽略咗個錯，唉。唔係唔係你盡咗幾多力嘅問題啊嘛，而係即係如果大家盡力就 O K 嘅咁。唔係唔係，下次我自己負責翻我自己 area 算，我下次我自己負責翻我 area 舒服好多。係。咁你可以你可以話你另外兩個幫唔到你手嘅，但係你應該做啲出聲咯。咁我唔使麻煩你哋啦，唉。嗰陣時都你你好多人物噶嘛，你同埋你根本上你有十幾個 judge 係唔唔應該嘅。我驚 judge disconnect 嘅話就唔 fair 啦。嗰陣時又要考慮到啲人數。會唔會有一半以上嘅人 disconnect 啊？因為有一最少有幾個中文唔掂啊嘛，依、這個都要考慮嘅因素。算啦算啦，而家公開唔好講咁多。公開，仲喺錄緊。<笑>好啦，我我咁我就去翻。誒、uh, 個 contest room 先，因為之後兩個參賽者，等陣就會叫你出嚟嘅。Hold on, recordings are a conversation. My conversation with Peter. Is it me only named he is Peter and he a meter? But is he really our Peter, our NDC Peter? Okay, let me test Peter. Peter. Are you in Sumjun? Peter replied, What? Why Sumjun? I'm in Sumshui Po. Oh, so who's that guy? Oh my God, he's a bad guy. And I put all the stories in his mouth and he further developed and he pretended to be Peter. Luckily, I don't have WeChat account, otherwise, I lost a lot. So, is assumption. I assume everyone calling me on my birthday is my friend. It's my wrong assumption again. So, ladies and gentlemen, why, why we have assumption block our logical thinking and jump into our conclusion and action? It's because assumption makes our life easy. It saves us our much effort and time to study, but there is no fast track to get things done. So assumption is like a bait to a fish, and it's like a trap setting to ourselves. 
dear Toastmasters. My biggest birthday gift is not the flowers, it's not a delicious meal, of course it's not pizza, but it's a lesson, a lesson learned to put aside our assumption, but examination before any action. So remember, no assumption, but examination. Thank you. Thank you. Please mute yourself. Mute, unmute. Thank you, Charles. So our next speaker is Kali Loi. Hi, Kali. Can you turn on your camera and also unmute yourself? I, I cannot turn on my video. Okay. Aaron, can you help? Can you do something for me? Fixing. Yeah. Can you click on it? Yes. Thank you, Curly. Can you see the timer now? Uh, no. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Can you wave your hand? Can you see him now? I think I have to turn it to um, gallery. gallery mode. Yep. The gallery mode. Yes. Please turn it on to gallery mode. Because I want to have the speaker mode. But once I have the speaker mode, I will, I will lose him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please turn on the gallery, gallery mode if possible. Okay. And the gallery mode. That, that's fine for me. It's okay. I'm ready. House now? Okay, good. You Perfect. can see him if you want to see him clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. Perfect. So now it is our next contestant, Kali Loi. Her topic would be the equation. Kali Loi, the equation. The equation, Kali Loi. When I was small, my papa told me, the more effort you make, the more you would achieve. What a simple equation. Since primary school, I put a lot into my schoolwork. I put a lot more into my exam preparation. I was admitted to university. Upon graduation, I joined the teaching profession. Up to now, I've been preaching the same equation to my students. The bigger your effort, the higher your grace. I look around the people that I know. This equation applies to them too. Except for Derek, my colleague. Derek has been with my school for seven years. Year after year, he's been receiving the Teaching Excellence Award, a record that would make the most experienced teachers humble. The most intelligent ones intrigue. At a hot pot party, with some Toastmasters. I share my query with them. Here are their responses. Is it because of his looks? Derek is a jolly looking fellow in his late 50s. Average height, there are two things growing 
noticeable about him. His thinning hair and his growing tummy. He is no old pa. Is it because of his generosity? We do have teachers who would try to please the student by bringing food to class, by giving them higher than expected grades. Derek is not particularly generous with food or grades. Hmm. I think there must be something to do with his teaching skills. Up to now, Derek hasn't opened up his classroom to us. His teaching skills are as mysterious as his record. Jenny, a very seasoned Toastmaster, tried to explain. Perhaps he concentrates on people, like us Toastmasters. Perhaps he focuses on understanding people's needs and trying to satisfy those needs. On my way home, I remember Jenny's response. I also remember how I was trained as a teacher. My teacher told me, focus on the syllabus, focus on your presentation, focus on the practice you will assign your students. My focus is on structuring my lessons around the syllabus and deliver my lessons as planned. You can call me a task-based teacher. Does it sound like you are someone that you know? The next day, I walked past Derek's office. The door was open. I was wondering whether I should pop in and ask him, Derek, what is your secret to winning the award year after year? I got in. He was at his computer. Derek, you look busy. He looked up. Oh, hi. Um, I'm working on a uh, handout for the students. Seems that they have some problem. In the next five, 10 minutes or so, Derek explained to me how he had detected his students' difficulty and how he would help them to overcome it. He answered my question without my asking him to. I would sum up his secret as focus on the people, get to know them, and try to work on their needs. Since that day, I make some adjustment to my papa's equation. I started investing in people. I started structuring my lessons around the needs of my students and creating space where I can listen to their questions, their worries, and their concerns. In short, from a task-based approach to a people-oriented approach. Ladies and gentlemen, over the year, you must have learned of some equations about life from your parents, from people you admire, people you respect. These equations are actually principles they would like us the whole fast to. Now you have more experience about life. You might like to make some adjustment to those equations and pass them on to the one you love and cherish. Dear fellow Toastmasters, dear friends, 
I have a simple equation for you. The more you invest in people, the more you will gain. Back to you, Countess Chair. Thank you, Carly. So now this is the end of the context. With Zoom Master, please move our Chief Judge, Judges Ballot Counters to our Judges Room. Judges, please pass the ballots to our Ballot Counters, Raymond and Ella. And timers, please send your timer report to the Chief Judge Chi out via WhatsApp. Okay, so now we should only have the two contestants here. So before the judges coming back, let's talk a little bit. Hi, Curly. Hi. Hello, how are you? Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to, you know, multitask. I got quite a lot of things. Hello. Hello. How's everybody? I'm good. How about you, Cecilia? How are you? Please unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah good. good. Hello, Moise. I probably need to go to the contest waiting room. Now, they're still in the contest room. I'll go back to the contest room. But there's still a contest chair. That's a mess. Hi. I'm ready to go. 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 I changed my name, contest waiting room and contest room. Now I'm going to go back to the normal room. Don't worry, Iris. To get use of this equipment, that's very good. Fantastic. I appreciate all the work you have done for us. Thank you. Actually, it goes to Iris and also the helpers helping out like Aaron, Emily, Iris, and yeah. So this is this is our version before you get to the division contest, which will be on the 18th of April. So we'll share you the details on that later on. So um, regarding on the contest today, I, I'm happy that you guys are happy with the whole arrangements. So may I ask for a little bit on where did you get the idea that you would like to have like the equation <coughs> on your birthday gift as your <coughs> topic? Okay, uh, Cecilia, if you don't mind, I would like to, you know, the response to this question. Uh, basically, uh, this is the idea I got when we were having a hot pot party, a wheel one uh, during the Chinese New Year. But uh, very, very luckily that uh, we didn't have, we, we didn't form a cluster and, of virus and that kind of thing, right? Uh, Everyone who was there, uh, I mean, on that particular evening, uh, still, you know, that uh, very healthy, uh, safe and sound, okay? Um, I was actually uh, at the party discussing a very interesting colleague of mine, Derek, of course, I changed his name. And I want to tell you that I know that uh, Derek may not be staying with us uh, longer okay uh, I, I don't want to tell you too much about him but i'm so glad that i make a speech about hi uh, everything okay here hi chi
is because of my assumption. Of course, yeah. assumption have, can have a have a, can have a <clears throat> bigger consequence or worse consequence if we have a assumption on our work. Um, mm -hmm. you, you can you can uh, have a wrong conclusion or wrong uh, result coming out. But because I want to make it a more humor way to ex to to give the message about assumption, so I link these two stories, my personal stories together, and. May, uh, the take rate is about assumption. So I hope you all like it. <laughs> yeah, especially in this uh, environment, I think humor is very important. Yeah. Dark humor is very yeah. important. Yeah. yeah, we need it. <clears throat> yes, I do agree. Humor is like very important nowadays. Okay, so I can see that all the judges and our contest chair has already been coming back into the room. Hi, Iris, do we have the results? Yes, we have ready. Okay. okay, good. So before we announce the result, may I double confirm with you if there is any protest? I'm happy there is no protest from okay. the judges and also um, no time disqualification. Very good. So may I now prime to you the time to announce the result, please? Hi, contestants. Glad to hear you are happy with this arrangement and to me, I'm happy to announce um, two of you as a winner. So the, the second place uh, goes to Cecilia Lee from MDC. <laughs> so obviously our champions of uh, international speech goes to Kali Lo. Congratulations to all of you for your hard work. And so um, I hope that you enjoyed this sessions and and probably we would represent uh, Division um, O2 to, uh, to join the Division's contest. So congratulations again, and thank you. Back to you, Anne. Thank you. So let's take a photo before before we move on to the next contest, okay? Uh, uh, Anne, I would like to clarify one thing. Cecilia and I will be going to the next level. Yes. Thank you. Both of you. Yeah. So let's take a photo together, shall we? Yeah. Hi, Ma. <laughs> Smile. Yes, okay. And we have Ella. Ella, hi. Hi. Okay, so let's take a photo together. Uh, could you help us to do it, Iris? Yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, big thumbs up. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, excuse me. I will be doing the evaluation uh, contest. Will someone uh, move me there, or I need to do the login again? Uh, uh, just stay here. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And the trophies and certificates will be passed to you later. So congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Cecilia, particularly. Thank you, Kali. Congratulations. So I leave the breakout room. Yes, Cecilia, you can leave first. Thank you. We leave now. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 So okay. Aaron. Hmm? Aaron and Iris, can you see uh, if our next I see Agnes, but I didn't see Ellen. I see Agnes, but I didn't see Ellen. Oh, okay. Oh, Let me try. Okay, Kali is champion. Hello. Uh, may Agnes join in the room for the contest okay. room? So you can click on the breakout room button on your bottom. Bye, right. Bye, 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 bye. Good luck. Still waiting. Have you guys seen the test speaker here? I don't know who's the test speaker. No, no. Have you have you seen a wording say test speaker? If not, I'm just verifying. If not, I have to remind that no, person. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I know. I know who that person is, but I. Okay, that's good. okay. So I'm I'm just checking it. Yep. Okay. Aaron, you please pay attention. Test speaker, you're done. Test speaker. 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 Test speaker.
，其他系系睇齐到嘅。系啦。O、okay, K， 我我答一答俾 Alan 咧，系。Paris。誒係咪其他個 cont contestant 都嚟齊㗎啦？除咗 Alan 之外 ，Alan 同埋個 test speaker 咧。哦 ，OK，Alan、okay. 就話答答九，咁我諗啊 ，test speaker 嗰度應該冇問題，我睇睇佢嗰個 set up 得唔得？佢有冇事？應該係四四四四嗰個嘛，四四四三六一四七一嗰個 ID 係嘛？四四四三六一係啊。OK，test speaker 應該入緊嚟㗎啦。好啊 ，Alan 你幫手留意啊。我試咗啊，等下。嗯，我俾佢快先。Hello， 俾佢快咗，阿張先先。開視頻啦，唔該。Hello。Can you hear me though? Can you hear me? No, you have not. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah, now better. Not because I couldn't hear you. I'm just testing your microphone and also your video camera. Right. And during your test speech, uh, you should show at least half your body. So maybe you'll be standing instead of sitting, or you can put your camera a bit further away. That will kind of uh, make you better. Uh, no. Uh, we we want to see at least half. Uh, this is the contest exception rule. And then the thing is, uh, the difficulty would be the voice would be not as strong. No, you can actually stand a bit further away. I can just hear it and can judge because I'm I'm your audience right now, or you're becoming your little fan here, right? Better. Better. You can you can shout or you can lower the voice so that I can see the pitch and then whether it's too low that I cannot hear you. So you can start saying something. Hi. Yep, I can hear you. Okay, low when it's like very soft, like hi. Can, can, at least can we hear you? It's really really tough to speak in this distance from my computer. Like how how is it difficult? <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just saying things. It's not that too difficult. But you have been to Zoom trials before, with Christy and Mercy. Come on. Oh yeah, but then we are like doing it like that, you know. Seriously. Yeah, I know. I I understand. This is like a speech. How is the thing now? How is the thing? Uh, they, because when uh, you stand, uh, they are actually like letting me verify your identity and then at least doing some role um, testing with you. Yeah, so that we can hear you clearly. You will not be affected. Your gestures are not laggy and stuff like that. That's my responsibility. Cool. So I'm good. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're okay. I bought a camera for for this purpose. <laughs> I, I'm going to buy a camera one day for that. Oh, no. oh I, it's a it's working quite well because uh, my, I've used a MacBook Pro, but um, my version was like back in 2014, and I think the camera is only like six, 780. Yeah, but not many people just want to join a contest and buy a specific camera, is it? You have to think about it. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <my notes. laughs> but it's a good way to long run. So basically, uh, one more thing to note is that... Um, I need the timer. Yes, that's important. I want yeah, to know we will let you know who the timer is on that. Uh, we will add you into the contest room and you'll see who the timer is. Uh, one more thing is rename yourself as test speaker because you typing the word W will be 
kind of obvious in some way. I asked them, what should I say? I did say to them, test Pika. Uh, they didn't tell me. Okay. I, uh, I should see the test speaker. Right? Yeah, okay, fine. Now you're the test speaker, so you're fine. And then after which, yeah. when they introduce you, then you switch on your webcam, okay? When they introduce. Do not open your webcam right. in any way until they switch. All right. All okay, right. good to see you. All right. I'll move you, you there. Bye. My video. Bye. Yep, test speaker is in. Um, how about Alan? I still haven't seen him yet. Hello, everyone. Uh, Alan will come at 3.45. Okay. Okay, I saw Alan's message. He'll be ready soon. Yep, he's in the room now. Thank you, Aaron. So, do we have all of them in the room? Currently, Atlas Allen. Okay. 
<clears throat> so the timer for this session will be Susan. Okay, so let's start. So hi everyone, now we are going to have our Area 04 Evaluation Speech Contest. Before we start, may I remind you on a few housekeeping rules. Please remain on mute until it is your role to speak. If you are a contestant, you are recommended to turn off all the notifications to avoid disturbance. No photo taking or video shooting is allowed when contestant is speaking, except the officially appointed photographer of the contest. Once the contest has begun, please do not leave the same room during the contest. And if you really have to or leave by accident, you will need to wait at a Zoom rating room when you will log in and wait for the Zoom house, which is Aaron, to move you to the right room during the one minute of silence. For contestants who need urgent assistance, please contact our contest chair, Irish Tam, by phone or by WhatsApp. You can also raise your concern in the WhatsApp group that you have been active previously. For protests, protests will be limited to judges and contestants. Any protests will be lodged with the chief judge, Chi L, and contest chair, Iris Tam, prior to the announcement of the winners. All decisions of the judges are final. Regarding on the timing rules, evaluators will be moved to the preparation room by Zoom Master Aaron and have five minutes for preparation. After the test speaker concludes the test speech, no further preparation is allowed after five minutes. Evaluator speech shall be from two to three minutes. Bye。好了,Ben,我準備要你來的啦。OK。好。Bye。Bye。準備要。我都忘了,我那時候都忘了,我沒聽到,就要問一下Emily,不好意思。Emily,你可以隨時進入那裡,按個Breakout <笑> 他們開始了嗎?要time的contestant A paper, so you shall fold the preparation sheet like this. So you shall fold the preparation sheet upon the supervision of SAA and should look up sideways without accessing any electronic device like this. Okay? Your integrity in the preparation room is highly appreciated. At the contest room, before the start of the contest, MC, which is me, will ask the contestants if you can still see the timer. After you have acknowledged, and I will introduce the contestant name, and then you shall start your speech. After each contestant has finished, 
the Zoom host will bring in the next contestant during one minute of silence. Contestants who have finished the speech may stay in the contest room for the rest of the contest. No one else will be allowed in or out of the room during the contest. There will be one minute of silence between the contestants during which the judges will mark the ballots. Once more friendly reminder, when you enter into the room, I will be letting you know when you will be able to speak. So don't worry about the time, okay? So today we have three contestants. The speaking sequence have been drawn earlier. And Iris has just put the order into the chat box. The first one would be Alan Poe. Second one would be Edna Snow. Last but not least, the third one is Carly Lowe. So now the contest is about to begin. Contestants, are you ready? Already? Thank you. Timer, are you ready? Thank you. SAA, are you ready? Hey, Ben. Hey. SAA. Oh, uh, Ben, I have moved him into the, uh, the contestant waiting room. You want him back? Yeah, he needs, he needs to be here and later move with the contestants to the preparation oh. room later. Okay, I, I just oh, Ben is here. I have a question. Uh, what? And I have a question. Yes, please. If it's my turn, can I get that folder paper open? Just like normal oh. contest, right? Yes. yes, if it is your turn, yes. When you go, come back to the contest room, you can hold, uh, open your paper. Yay. But the paper is only allowed to be open in the contest room, but not the preparation room. Right. I'll cross my arms. <laughs> yes, that would be good. Okay, so SAA, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Chief Judge, are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Thank you. So I would like to announce that uh, Area 04 Evaluation Speech Contest will now begin. So Aaron, could you help me to add the test speaker into this room? The test speaker is already in this room. Oh, good. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so the topic of the test speaker is if. The name of the test speaker is Winnie Chair. Winnie Chair, if, if, Winnie Chair. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon, I would like to share one story with all of you of my childhood. I grew up learning how to receive rejection from my parents. Mom, I really, really want to learn how to play the piano. Can I take some music classes? No, piano is for the rich kid. Mom, how about learning how to draw or how to do the ballet? Teacher said that I have some potential in those areas. No, it's not going to help you to find a good job. Mom, well, how about traveling to Tokyo? We have never ever on a vacation with the family before. And my best friend Sophia just come back from Tokyo and she told me it's great. Good food, really interesting shopping, a lot of good sightseeing. No. I don't have the holiday nor the money to spend with you. And I remember there's a time when majority of my best friend's circle were leaving Hong Kong to study abroad. And I asked my mom, mom, can we 
really have a serious discussion on this. Is there a chance that I study abroad as well for a certain period of time? Because I think that will be really helpful to my education. I was 10 years old back then, by the way. She was like, no, can you stop asking me questions like that? Can you stop making requests to me? Can you stop bringing trouble to me? Now, as I mentioned, I was 10 years old. Well, as a 10 years old kid, I'm not too sure how I should handle this kind of rejection from my parents. And I naturally grew up learning not to make any requests to my parents is a virtue, it's a good thing. I start not to make requests, not only to my parents, but also people around me. I usually won't ask teachers for clarification in class. I wouldn't ask teacher if I want to join certain activity, what's the way forward? I don't feel happy when good things happen to me. I think it's because it's pure luck. It's not that I'm particularly outstanding when I'm given some award. I'm losing my confidence and I dare not dream. I don't want to dream and be disappointed. I don't want to have hope on something that I want to do just to know that at the end of the day, I'm not given the opportunity to get what I want. Well, my friends were really young as well, so they couldn't understand this kind of complicated emotion of mine. So the only person that I can talk to was my diary. I just want my little to wish list on my diary, but nobody else. I feel as an adult, I still have some kind of personality issue because of my unconfident upbringing due to the way that my parent woke me up. So there was a time when I was having a drink, a casual drink with my friends who actually worked as a counselor. She didn't know about my parents issue and she asked me to talk about it because I felt really anxious back then when I was having some career issue at work. So I told her what happened just like what I told you just now and she said ah you mentioned a lot of if. If my mom didn't reject me when I was young, probably my English would be even better than what I have right now. If my mom did send me to overseas, probably I would have achieved an even better position than what I have now. If my mom has been a little bit more caring, more friendly, probably we would have a more harmonious family by now. Now you ask a lot of if questions, and can I ask you a question, may I? I said, yeah, go ahead. And she said, if I may, can I know how your grandparents are to your parents? I took two minutes to think about that. And I thought, hmm, that's interesting because my mom actually grew up from a Chu Chao family. In Chu Chao, guys, boys, men are superior than the ladies. This is why my mom, although she was really smart as a kid, didn't, get, didn't have the opportunity to continue her education. Inside the family, the good food is always for the son, not for the daughter. And then my friend, my counselor friend told me, now imagine if, if you were your mom in that situation, who can be the role model when it comes to parenting? She didn't attend good school. She didn't have a job because she was taking care of me and my sister. Indeed, the only role model she could have get weapons from was her own parents. And her own parents probably had a lot of issue when it's come to upbringing because of the war back then. Now I become more understanding and I felt a bit ashamed of myself for not being understanding, understanding enough to my parents' situation. And then my counselor friend asked me the second question. Now, if you have another opportunity, if you are going to talk to your mom again, do you think there is anything different in the way that you respond? I didn't answer right away, but deep down in my heart, I felt I was a bit rude to my parents and I really take it for granted that all parents should learn how to do parenting, which in fact is not true. 
and I feel bad of myself for being such an unreasonable daughter at times. So after having that conversation with my counseling friend, I learned when bad things happen, first, don't blame the person. Brain, you, if you really have the brain, first, understand the circumstances. Like my mom, well, she may be a bit rude to a 10 years old or five years old little kid back then. But it's also because she didn't have someone that she can look up to as a model parent. So second thing is, now you know that sometimes people are bad to you, or not really bad to you, but just that things happen in a way that you don't prefer, like during the contest over Zoom, instead of having an in-person contest where you think you have the advantages when it comes to body movement, people engagement. Now think about if you could do something to improve the situation, is there anything you want to do about it? If your question is yes, I think we should all ask ourselves the if questions, think about any positive change that we can change and make the situation better instead of blaming others. Now, I look forward to the evaluation and I hope my story can go with you for a long time. Thank you. Thank you, Winnie. And Taima, may I have the time? Yes. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Okay. So the time for Winnie's speech is seven minutes and 29 seconds. Seven minutes, 29 seconds. Thank you, Iris. So now, May I please have the Zoom master to help to move the contestants into the preparation room, please? Okay, thank you, Errol. So in the meantime, let's talk to the tech speaker. Hi, Winnie. Hi. Hi. It's glad to meet you that way <laughs> in Zoom. So may I may I ask you a short question? That um, what comes into your mind when when you want to like give a speech on this topic? If uh, I remember it was Iris who invited me, and I was having a um uncertain moment I was asking myself if if it's a good idea like if it's a good idea to do a test speaker on um, on zoom because if uh, there's any technical failure then I will really affect the contestant experience so uh, this is why the if word comes up and uh, but I think I should do it I felt like uh, especially in difficult time like this uh, people who are more comfortable using the technical devices and webcam and camera everything should uh, really stand up and help each other because I understand there are members who really have concern over that it may be due to like family issue they may have kids running around the house they may also have like they don't have the equipment they don't have a key like webcam etc so um, yeah just be helpful to each other yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know who you are, but I probably know you. So hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you so much for being our test speaker. And I like a dress, by the way. <laughs> okay. So yes, you have a nice dress all the time. Yeah. So um, apart from since the, the speaker is actually in, in, in their preparation, may I talk to you a little more if you don't mind? So how do you feel about the whole process? So so far, is it so good for you? Uh, I think it's more nervous. It's, it's more nerve-wracking than in the actual situation, if you ask me, because I don't get to see the audience response. I think uh, I've never tried like doing a speech, a proper speech in, in front of Zoom, but I think it's a lot to pick up. <laughs> as a speaker, is uh, like having the wide distance, adjusting your voice because when you have to stand up a little bit further, 
from the camera, it also means that your volume will go down, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like a usual business meeting when your body movement doesn't count and you can uh, actually mute your video while you're doing the business talk. So I think it's an interesting thing to pick up. <laughs> Definitely a learning curve for me. Yes, that's it. Um, so, so far, uh, at least this is a very good step that you have kicked off like the first time <laughs> of your Zoom day. For the new webcam for this purpose. <laughs> yes. yes, I did because I really want to reach the world. I usually use my iPhone, but I also understand that when you use your iPhone, the Zoom um, functions is very limited. So, um, yeah, I bought a camera. Oh, I see. It's, it, it's good. I mean, you, look, you still look good on your new camera on that, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, may I also ask you a little bit on how are you doing recently? Are you still busy on work? Do you have to go to office or you can actually start like home office or, or, or something? Uh, life, uh, work life is quite crazy. Like For those who don't know, I work in the property sector. So one of my key jobs is to uh, handle the tenancy. So I have to find new tenants and make sure the tenants who are operating still survive, which is very tough right now. So I do have a lot of like restaurant tenants and you know that business is like like that. So I've been very busy um, talking to them, uh, being campaigned about. And uh, I felt like I become those uh, uh, counseling hotline, like over one hour of counseling the, the, uh, the tenants, uh, making sure that they are not like, too upset, like they're definitely upset, but not too upset. Um, also learning something new because we're staying home. So um, I'm learning French. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> oh, <help> with me. <laughs> um, so it's tough. I want to give up actually. Really? I want to give up because it's so tough. And, uh, but as I'm preparing the speech, I think it's kind of ironic if I give up my like French while well, I say like, you know, keep up the if spirit like we should work harder so yeah probably i will continue after this speech <laughs> so anyone who knows french please contact me i need some help <laughs> french is beautiful trust me yeah just don't give up okay yeah yeah and i have a question that i would really love to know about the especially on the property sector are you actually and uh i i think um yeah, they just finished. So you can move them back one by one. Is it, is it over five minutes because the timer in the main room doesn't work? <laughs> it's, it's now like a five minute and 30 something seconds. So should be moving them back in now. I think you can move uh, Alan back first and let them <clears throat> start delivery so <laughs> so instead of cooking they are driving to send the uh, meal boss to the office so you know sometimes creativity comes when there are difficult time so i hope the same apply to toastmaster so the chef cooks and delivers his home meal oh which restaurant is that the uh thai restaurant oh <laughs> okay like to know. So next time, folks, if you order from a restaurant of Thai, probably you can ask if it is the chef or not. Okay, so how much time do we have? Time's up. Time's up already. So okay. I'm moving Alan in. Yes, please move the first contestant into the room. Thank you, Winnie. Yeah. Okay, so the first contestant is Ellen Poe. Ellen Poe. Can you see the timer, by the way? Yes, I can. Okay, so Ellen Poe, your time, sir. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. During this period of hard time, I would say I feel very warm to listen to Winnie's for such a quick speech. So first of all, I would like to congratulate on her because she achieved the first biggest achievement. She managed the time very well. So let us give her a big round of applause in heart. Very well done, Winnie. So apart 
from that, I would like to evaluate on your content. First of all, I would say you have a very personalized stories. For example, we can listen to your story that there is a lot of rejections from your parents. For example, there you can't learn piano, you can't learn ballet, and you can't go to Tokyo in the past when you were 10 years old. And then there is the turning point for you. You met your counseling friends and she or he give you a lot of like, suggestions that make you reflect and make you think about the way how you could deal with your parents. So that's the first part. Good point. That is personalized stories. And then let me move to the second good point for your speech that is well organized. And we can see that you have a very great beginning and also middle part as well as the conclusion. So for the beginning, you have a lot of rejections from your parents, from your mom particularly. And in the middle part, you can, there is a turning point for you that is after you met your friends, counseling friends, and she gives you a lot of suggestions so that you improve a lot and you reflect a lot. And in the conclusion, you make a call for action so that all of the audience can see and can learn from your story so that we can move on our life during the difficulties in our daily life. So that is very good. And that is the second point, the second good point for your speech that is very well organized. And last but not least, you have a lot of inspiration and also reflection to the audience. For example, there is a lot of if questions to let us reflect a little bit. And also you told us to have the empathy to, the, to think of the others so that everything would be even more better. So that is the personalized stories, well organized, and also inspirations, as well as the reflections about your content. So apart from that, for your body language, we can see that your voice is very clear and also you have a fluent English, as well as a little bit body gestures, even we are in the Zoom meeting, that is very great. So just two points for your improvement. For example, first of all, you can exaggerate a little bit for your reaction when you receive the reactions from your mom and also recall the message at the end, at the very end of your speech so that we can learn from you. So all in all, remember all the great points that you already have in your speech. And also, if you want to even have a better performance next time, remember the further improvement for your speech, then everything would be very great. And we all look forward to your next speech and stay healthy, everyone. And we look to see you all in the coming future. That's all I would like to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ellen. One minute of silence. And Erin, you can escort the next contestant. Okay. Thank you, Susan. So our next contestant will be Anna Snow. Anna Snow, can you see the timer? Oh, yes. Okay. So your time will start now. Hello, everyone, contest chair and also judges. Did you remember in just seven and a half minutes time, Winnie Chair has brought us to her very, very sincere and also very vulnerable childhood story. I think it's not easy. So first of all, I really like to give her a very big round of applause, Winnie. As Winnie got to talk about her story from rejection to all the anecdotes to the end that how she get the counselor help her to really realize 
how big the difference she can make and understand her life. And now she make a difference to live as a very happy girl. This is truly not easy. So this is a very successful story. There are a lot of great things I like to talk about. Winnie, if I were you, I really cannot do the same way. First of all, let's talk about the great parts. Number one, she gave very, very good anecdotes. The anecdotes talk about the rejection. Do you remember she had very good storyline of like chronological order and talk about every single part and then even to her grown up time, then how she is doing her life now, and then look back how she can almost forgive and also understand her parent. So this is great job. Secondly, she also did a very good delivery. Do you remember the delivery of how she is talking to us? With like all the voice and also the pitches, talking about how the mom and her, every time she has a request, her mom would say, no, this is not. And then even her mom said one line, can you stop bringing that up? Wow, this is, I can relate, the very successful part. Now, if I were you to redo this story, I would suggest you to talk a little bit more. Number one, it's about the current part of your life. Current part means how you realize after the realization, what is the story. Now you can make a difference and also talk more about how you can make impact to people that they will never have this kind of things happen again. So all in all, I really find you have a lot of merit of this point. If I'm you, I really stand on your shoes and also have a lot of empathy for you. So first of all, keep all your great storytelling with all the anecdotes, with great example. Next one is keep your delivery with all those kind of intonation and conversation as well. Last but not least, if you can change the story to the message part a little bit more stronger, I'm sure you will be the rising star in the world champion. Back to you, contest chair. Thank you, Agnes. One minute of silence. <laughs> Please mute yourself. Thank you, Susan. Our next contestant is Carly Lowe. Carly Lowe. Carly Lowe. Ladies and gentlemen, our hardworking judges, and particularly our pretty and eloquent storyteller, Winnie. I really enjoyed your speech. And as you are already such a great speaker, it's difficult to evaluate your speech, but I will try my best. There are three things I particularly like about your speech. First is personal stories. When I was listening to you, I felt like you were telling me about my own stories. Just like you, I'm from a humble background. But the only difference between you and me is that I even didn't have the courage to make those requests, like studying abroad, going to Tokyo to my parents. I want to tell you, you're really brave. And when I was listening to you, I could feel your sincerity and your honesty. There is nothing better than that. 
the next thing is the structure of your speech. I would like to recap it like a three-part speech. We have the questions from you, if, if, if. We also have the solution from your counselor friend. And the last part, we have your reflection. And what a journey for us to went through with you. And the last thing that I have to mention is the message of your speech. Now, you know that we are now in uncertain times. And that's why sometimes it's difficult to express our understanding to other people. And thank you for your very positive message. It's time for us to relay ourselves better to each other. As I said, you're already a very good speaker and I have two humble suggestions for you. Number one, as I said earlier, we have question, we have solution, we have reflection. Have you thought about adding action? That is when you end your speech or before you end your speech, try to have a little conversation with your mom. Try to tell her that you understand her difficulties and you would like to do something with her together, to explain something together. And one more thing, you might like to strengthen your message from, well, try to understand other. It's a question of if. You might like to say, it's a question of how we can bring people together. As I said, this is all add the action, add, strengthen your message, and don't forget, keep up with all the good things that you were doing. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Carly. You may mute yourself now. The same master, please move our chief judge, judges, ballots counters into our judges room. Judges, please pass the ballots to our ballot counter, Raymond and Ella. Timers, please pass the timer report to our chief judge, Chi Ao. Okay, so in the meantime, while they are doing the calculation, let's do some small talks, maybe. Okay, okay, hi Agnes. Hi, Ellen. Where are you, Agnes? Where are you, Ellen? Okay, never mind. Let's start with you first, Kali. Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm here. Today. Hi, Ellen. Welcome back. Hi, Kali. How do you feel about the contest today? I think it's great. I, this is a really good experience. Like we are expanding our speaking horizons, indeed. <laughs> okay. We don't just say it, you know, that we, we practice it. <laughs> mm, that's good. This is like a, a very nice battlefield before you really ran onto the divisions, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I haven't talked to Alan before. So hi, Alan. How are you doing? Hello, Anne. Yes, I'm fine. Yeah. I think it is really a great ex opportunity for us to try a Zoom contest. It is really fun. Okay. So do you find it like good to use or, or compared to like the 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 real face-to-face -face contest? Um, it is different, but both are very fine. Both are interesting. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. And, okay, so regarding to test speaker, her topic is actually on if. So if, I'm just saying, if I would be giving you the topic of if, what kind of if statement that you'll be gifting? 
I would like to uh, repeat or iterate, you know, that I think that one is from uh, uh, Tendrons, you know, that the general director, I'm not sure about his title, you know, that the general director of WHO, and he said the other day, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. <laughs> That's 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 great to know that just like you know that if uh, this is true that now we stop discussing if we should start discussing when. <laughs> I know this one too. I heard of that too. Hi Winnie, you want to say something? Hi Winnie, did you hear our? Yes, I did. Like I did, but I was like muting my video. I don't want to show my face to affect your delivery. Uh, I just want to say thank you to the three seasons. Wow, you did so well. Because when I was asked me to do the test speaker, she didn't tell me the needs of the contest. <laughs> if if she has told me about the contest name, I may have hesitated a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because I have, I I know few of you like so. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit interesting. But thank you for your sharing and feedback. It has been. Okay, I'm still asking Ira to bring us back. Just bear with me. Uh, I just noticed your request, you know. 
I was waiting for a cue. No worries, Aaron. All good. Yep. They're good neighbors. They're just next door, I have to say. I mean, they, 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 they're very close. <laughs> they're very close. So they always do things like this. Imagine this, your friends, they always say, mm, 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 right? So this is how they try and come spread. Hey, uh, how about, how about Ed? I would like to know your, your work, working hours. Are you also working at home or like alternate days or what is your, oops. What is your uh, working hours right now? Well, my working hours have been quite terrifying this, these days because I work on a supply chain field. So because a lot of countries are actually like blocking the boundaries and people are not working, they work from home or either ways. So it has been, there has been a lot of meetings on Zooms and at the same time I have to go back to office for, for the Pacific Rim areas. So yeah, I've been working like all the time, even when I'm sleeping, the email are flushing in. So um, good luck to me. I hope I can still survive after this virus. So <laughs> I saw all the judges are coming back. So Iris, do you have the, the result already? Yes. So may I double check with you if there at any time disqualification or any protests? I'm happy to say that no. No disqualifications and no protests from our side. Mm -hmm. And yeah, thank you so much, Winnie, to be our test speaker. <laughs> thank you. Do we take a picture? Like yeah, now? Okay. So where is Anne? Yeah, I'm here. Hi. Hi. I'm going to cap the picture. Okay. Um, Get up. To it now? Okay. Yeah, you can do now. Okay, let's do a hard. I don't have a my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. Post. One, two, three. Smile. Okay. <laughs> Got it. So, yeah, now for the result. So we have three contestants for evaluation speech, and the third place goes to the boy, the man, <laughs> Alan Ho from Oasis. Congratulations! And and the second place goes to. Alice, as though. Congratulations. And first place, first place, Kali, Kali Lowe from MDC. Congratulations, to all of you. And the first and the second contestant will go to the divisions level. Congratulations. So back to Anne. Thank you all of you, especially our test speaker, Rini. Thank you again. <laughs> Thank you, Iris. So um, the first and the second place is going to represent Area 04 into the Division O contest, which will be held at the 18th of April on Zoom. Okay. So uh, the trophies and certificates will be passed to the runners at a later time. And congratulations to all of you. Yay!
So thank you for your participations. And we will now be moving to our next contest, which would be the table topic speech contest. So if you have also participated in this, in that contest, feel free to stay. If not, you are free to leave now. Congratulations. So I just want to know, Ellen and Agnes, are you both doing the table topics? I am. I, I know Agnes and yes. Agnes. Yes. yes. Okay, so good luck to both of you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you, Curly. And okay. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Winnie. Thanks, Kelly. Bye-bye. Yeah. Congratulations, Kelly. Okay. Thank you. Everyone. What? <laughs> Can we add the 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 contestants of the table topic in, please? I need to add. If I need to add them, I need to f see them, right? <laughs> They're not even in the room. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Iris, can you help to add the contestants? Oh, we asked that. Uh, we are going to resume at uh six forty five. Uh, no, no, no. I mean four forty five. Iris, are all the contestants okay? Can we start um, earlier? I'm double checking with them, so I bet, better wait a bit or we have a short break. No problem. So yeah. let's Okay, so and... let's have a break until 4.45 first. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a good thing that I can rest for a bit first. Yeah, thank you. No, no, I, I still have Zoom event until 11 p.m. tonight. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Until yeah, Aaron. You are forever soon, yeah. guy. <laughs> no, I'm training Region 10 in at 6 p.m. Actually, one contestant told me he wants to drop out. Oh, okay, uh, no problem. Yeah. Dropping out is okay. Yeah, so... Uh, which which one wants to drop? Will Sun Chen, and I cannot contact, contact him further, so I think he will not come back. Oh, so he he really stated very clearly that he's dropping out? Oh, he tested me um, earlier, but... Um, he said he has something to do, so he increased the West <laughs> the race. So I think he said yeah. quits the quits the contest okay. or quits yeah yeah, yeah the room quit the contest yeah. Okay, so sorry, this check. So Wilson Chan, I, I need to update a few things. So is Wilson Chan dropping up? Yeah. Okay, I will update the ballot. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. So now nothing to do, right? Um, we have a break until 4.45. Okay. Yeah, please take a rest. Thank you. Rest a bit, pick some water, eat something. You're all welcome. What? I'm eating. <laughs> I'm eating sweet potato. 
<laughs> I'm hungry. Um, drink some, drink some, eat some. Is is uh is uh Alice and Ellen in the contestant room already? Yes. Oh, that's good. So so all I think all of them can be ready at four forty five. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. So we'll. More minutes. We'll right? resume at 4 45. Yeah, we yeah, take a break. Okay, I'll have a chocolate first. Yeah, please. <laughs>
Hi, everyone. So now we are going to have our Area 04 Table Topic Speech Contest. Before we start, may I remind you on a few housekeeping rules. Please remain on mute until it is your role to speak. If you are a contestant, you are recommended to turn off all the notifications to avoid disturbance. No photo taking or video shooting is allowed when contestant is speaking, except the officially appointed photographer of the contest. Once the contest has begun, please do not leave the Zoom room during the contest. And if you really have to, or leave by accident, you will need to wait at the Zoom rating room when you log in. And wait for the Zoom house, which is Aaron, to move you to the right room during the one minute of silence. For the contestants who need urgent assistance, please contact the contest chair, Iris Tan, by phone or by WhatsApp. And you can also raise your concerns in the WhatsApp group that you have been added in previously. For protesters, protesters will be limited to judges and contestants. Any protest will be lodged with the Chief Judge Chi Ao and the contest chair, Iris Tan before the announcement of the winners. So all decisions of the judges are final. Regarding on the table topics timing, the speeches shall be from one to two minutes. Contestants who speak for less than one minute or more than two minutes or 30 seconds will be disqualified. Timing will begin with the contestants first verbal, definite verbal or non-verbal communication with the audience, which is us, okay? For the timing signal, the timer for this section would be Charles. Hi, Charles. Okay. So a green signal will be displayed at one minute and will remain displayed for 30 seconds. An amber signal will be displayed at one minute and 30 seconds and remain displayed for 30 seconds. A red signal will be, will be displayed at two minutes and will remain on until the conclusion of the speech. No signal shall be given for the overtime period. In the event of technical failure of the signal, a speaker is allowed 30 seconds extra overtime before being disqualified. So when I announce the beginning of the contest, the Zoom host will escort all contestants, except the first one, to the breakout room, which serves as the waiting room. At the contest room, before the start of the speech, I will ask the contestant if you can see the timer. After you acknowledge that you have seen the timer, and I will introduce you, and then you can start your speech. After each contestant has finished, the Zoom host will bring in the next contestants, and contestants who have finished the speech may stay in the contest room for the rest of the contest. No one else will be allowed to in and out of the room during the speeches. Contestants in the waiting room will be under the supervision of SAA. Contestants should look up sideways without accessing any electronic device. So you can cross your arms or you can raise up your arms and look aside, okay? Your integrity in the waiting room is highly appreciated. There will be one minute of silence between each contestant, so during which the, ballot, uh, the judges will be marking the ballots. And when you re-enter the room, don't panic. I will let you know when you will be able to start your speech. So when you come in, just wait. And then after I introduce everything, you may start, okay? So today, we have four contestants. The speaking sequence have been drawn earlier and Iris, can you help to put the sequence in the chat box, please? Thank you, Iris. So the speaking sequence of the table topic would be the first one, Lily He. Second one, Agnes No. Third one, Tony Chan. Last but not least, Alan Poe, the fourth speaker. And now the contest is about to begin. Contestants, are you ready? Please thumbs up if you are. Okay, timer, are you ready? Thank you. 
SAA, are you ready? SAA. Hi, hey, Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, Hi Ben. Ben Bong. Hey, someone, someone just uh, muted me. I don't know. I'm <laughs> okay. Not my problem. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Chief Judge, are you ready? You're ready. Thank you. I would like to announce the area all for us. Table topic speech contests now begin. Somehow, Aaron, could you help to move all contestants except the first one, Lily He? All right, everyone out? Okay. Hi, Lily. Please unmute yourself. Okay. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Hi, Lily. We are timer. Charles, could you please wave? Can you see the timer? Yes, I can see Charles. Thank you. Hi, Lily. Give me a second. Your table topic section. Lily He, one minute silence. One minute silence. Lily He. Good afternoon, everyone. So, in Toastmasters, we all know there's one rule in each, every of the contests or in our meetings that is one minute of silence. So, What's that one minute of silence mean for Toastmasters? Of course, we know that we need that one minute of silence to, for the judge, for the guests to rethink about how does the, uh, how does the, speakers, the speaker perform, right? So this one minute of silence, I think that is so important also in our life as well. So we are in such a, um, uh, busy sitting like Hong Kong, every day we just rush into the MTR. We to go to our desk to do our work and then we have so many meetings. And then we go back home and we need to, uh, to uh, have a rest and we, then we go out for social life. So every day is so packed and so busy. So you know, one minute of silence when it comes to life that we all know is that we need to sometime in our day to rethink about our life, to rethink about our day, so as to adjust our pace in this busy city. So dear friends, dear judges, I think this one minute of silence, this rule of postmaster is so great in life. So we can all adapt into life wherever, whenever you are or wherever, whatever stage you are, that we can all use this one minute of silence to sit down to write out, write out uh, what's important to us and to rethink and how to make a better improvement in our life. And thank you very much. This is my speech. Thank you, Lily. You can meet yourself now. Okay. Could Aaron please bring in the next contestant and here is one minute of silence.
Thank you, Charles. Our next contestant is Agnes. Agnes, your table topic question is, oh, by the way, before I, I send you the topic, can you see the timer? Yes. Charles. Yes. Thank you. And Agnes, your table topic question is, one minute silence. One minute silence, Edna Slow. Edna Slow, one minute silence. Ladies and gentlemen, you must be kidding. You want me to have one minute of silence? That means I'm going to lose one minute in my table topic speech. No way. In my life, I learned this line from 2009. That is when I joined Toastmasters. 2009, I joined Toastmasters. They always repeated this line, one minute of silence, one minute of silence. I thought, wow, what, is this, what does this mean to me? Afterward, I have an awareness of this. The re reason I find that awareness is, I find this is something that I need to keep pausing. This one minute of silence is helping me to pause. Let me tell you my life. I'm always busy, busy. If everyone knows my life from my Facebook or my social media, talking about how busy I am, I feel that I never really stop. So thank you very much for telling me one minute of silence. This one minute of silence can be really profound. I find nowadays in coronavirus time, I have 24 hours silence because I'm always quarantined myself. So imagine in our life, can we take it for granted or think that there is no need to have any kind of mute ourselves or pause for ourselves. No, there are time like right now. So ladies and gentlemen, I feel that one minute of silence is golden. Don't think that this is like a waste of time. There's like nothing to do and I really crave for anything. So back to you, Toastmasters. Thank you, Agnes. You can meet yourself now. One minute of silence, and will Aaron please bring in the next contestant? Thank you, Charles. Our next speaker is Tony Chan. Hi, Tony. Oh, Andy. So before I send you the topic, can I double confirm with you if you can see our timer, Charles? Yeah, I can see him. Thank you. Tony, your table topic question is one minute silence. One minute silence, Tony Chan. Tony Chan, one minute silence. Well, uh, it's, it's really an interesting question. One minute silence. I think the most good tactics is I just keep it a one minute silence. Say nothing. <laughs> and then my table topic, I still have one minute. So therefore, 
I better change my tactics to say something, at least say something about it. Um, maybe I can start with uh, saying that what's the purpose of this one minute of silence? Um, when you have done something before and you need to do something else after, I think this one minute silence is a good way to transit these two different things. For example, in this table topic contest, um, we can have this one minute silence to have the last contestant finishing the speech and then for this to, for the next one to begin a new speech. So um, in many ways, in our daily life, in many ways, we have this transition. And the way, the point is um, how you can do it a good way. And I think in Toastmaster, this one minute of silence is a good way to, this, to do this transition. Mm -hmm. I can think all about this one. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tony. You can mute yourself now. And one minute of silence. Erin, could you please call in the last contestants? Okay, thanks, Charles. Our fourth contestant is Ellen Poe. And before I announce the topic, may I double check if Ellen, you can see the timer, Charles? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, Ellen. Your table topic question is one minute silence. One minute silence, Ellen Poe. Ellen Poe, one minute silence. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. When I first saw this question, one minute of silence, what is the first thing that's come to your mind? I guess all of you think of about Toastmasters because during our table, during our Toastmaster life, there is a lot of one minute of silence, doing different kinds of meetings, contests, and everything else. However, during our life, there's actually a lot too much of that one minute of silence. And actually, it is about the time for us to have this silence. Because nowadays, we all know that the COVID-19 is very serious and it already detected in more than 100 locations. And even in Hong Kong, there's a lot of confirmed cases, more than 130 cases in Hong Kong. So it is actually the time for us to think about what we are going to have in our life. So I call this the minute of silence. In the past, perhaps we are very busy in our daily life for our work, just like me. Yes, I'm very busy in my life. Even now, because I'm working hard for the disease, with the Department of Health. We have different kinds of OTs, but sometimes it is actually the time for us to rethink about what we are doing for our life. Nowadays, we can't go traveling. We seldom go visiting with our friends, or we can even have dinners or lunch with our friends. It seems that all of us have the silent time. We can actually use this time to think about what is actually the most important in our daily life. When we look back, actually, money is the most important? No, actually. 
our job? No, actually. Actually, staying health is the most important part in our daily life or in our life. When we have health, we will have everything. So during this period of minutes of silence, actually we can do a lot of things to think. So we think what we can do in our life and what we would like to achieve in future. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ellen. You can meet yourself now. And thanks to everyone. And this marks the end of table topic context and all the contestants have already given their contest speech. With some masters, please move our chief judge, judges, ballot counters to our judges room. Judges, please pass the ballots to our ballot counters, Raymond and Ella. And timers, please pass the timer report to chief judge, Chi Ao via WhatsApp. Thank you, Aaron. So while all the judges are out, shall we have a little talk and wait for them to come back? Hi, Ellen. Hi, Tony. Hi. Yes, Ellen. sure. Hi. Let's talk and wait for them to come back. Um. Hi, Lily. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Lily. So, Hello. from Gopo, right? I, I, I'm really curious. I would like to know about your feeling when you saw.
are coming back. So let me I double check with the contest chair, Iris. Do we have a result yet? Uh, yes, we have the um, we have the result now. Okay, so may I double check with you if that's any time disqualification or protest? Wow, very lovely. We don't have any disqualifications and no protests as well. Perfect. Would you please do us a favor and announce the result, please? Yes. So here comes our last contest in the day. And I know all of you will be exhausted. So let's go straight to the results. Uh, the third place is <laughs> Lily Her from MDC. Lily. <laughs> And the second place goes to Alan, Alan Poe from Oasis. So the first place yeah. is Alan Snow thank from you. Thank you. Thank you. MDC. Thank you, thank you. Thank Congratulations thank you. to all of you. Congratulations and back to Anne. Yeah, thank you. Take a picture. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's take a picture. Picture together and congratulations to the winner. Alan, don't go. <laughs> and, and also our our facilitators, please do a heart. video yourself. Yeah. Let's do a heart. And also Jay. Jake. And 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 Ben. How do you do a heart? Jay. I cannot start my video. Uh, oh. Forget me. Uh, I, I don't. Oh, <laughs> silent hero. I silent oh, hero here. Okay, everyone ready? Okay, we see you finally. <laughs> so let's smile and maybe we have a heart. <laughs> One, two, oh, three, smile. Okay, thank you. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you for all the hard works. It is really great, great work. Very professional, you guys. Yes, thank you, the contest team. Thank you. My contest team, yeah. Okay, bye bye. So, bye. -bye. Oh. Any announcement? Any announcement? Okay, so before you guys go, I'd like to like, congratulations to all the winners and also thank you for the hard work of all the contestants. So uh, for the first place and the second place, which is Agnes and Ellen, you will be representing Area 04 in the Division O context, which will be held on 18th of April. The details will be delivered to you in separate messages, okay? So please spare the time. Thank you so much. And the trophies and certificates will be passed to the winners at a later time. Congratulations. And thank you all for your participation. And up to now, the contests have been conducted very smoothly as this is the, like the second, or the third, yeah, the third online Toastmasters area contest in Hong Kong. So everyone is actually paying a lot of effort. Thank you for the judges who have been staying with us from one to, it is like five, 16 now. So it has been a couple of hours. Thank you for all of the hidden, hidden the SAAs, the timers, the ballot counters for accompanying us for all this process. And this teamwork been amazing and it has been confirmed by all of the contestants and all the participants here today and it has been a very successful teamwork. I have to deliver my gratitude to our contest chair Iris as well as to our chief judge Chi and also to our Zoom master Aaron for helping us to like guide us through all the way through, guiding the contestants from the breakout rooms to the contest rooms, and also listing out all the instruction in the chat box. The prior, the preparation work on WhatsApps and all the coordinations. Thank you so much for all of your hard work delivered to Area 04, and I'm so blessed. Thank you so much. All of your efforts have been added together to make today's contest to be a very successful one. And since the contests have come to an end, I hope you all enjoy the meeting today and enjoy the great speeches and have fun. Let's all have a round of applause, if you don't mind. Yay!
And if there's nothing to add, I will be seeing you guys on the next round of contests, which would be on Division O contest on the 18th of April. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Good you, everyone. Good, Good job. Bye-bye. Good job. Congratulations, Alice. Thank you so much, Iris. Yeah. It's the last Congratulations. minute. It's the last minute. I just. <laughs> oh yeah, you you live it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway the thank you. See you guys next time. See you. I, I cannot be any any other areas judges, right? You I can, go. if you want to disqualify yourself. <laughs> oh, is it Aaron talking? Yes, I that's me. <laughs> I have I have messages right now from other area. They say, "Hey, miss, can you be the judge?" I say, yeah, I also I also see that. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Uh, I'm going out to enjoy the sunshine. Bye bye. <laughs>